You're about to go into the studio. You're very excited about doing the voiceover. And then your mouth becomes dry and your voice gets strangulated. You're suffering from mic fright. Hi, hello, I hope you're in fine voice. Now, I want you to meet a very close, very special friend of mine. Here he is. There we go. It's Mike, my mate, Mike. He's a very special friend, actually, because he never questions me. He's all ears all the time, never answers back. And he's always with me in the studio. I know he's there. I can totally rely on him 100%. I may be fallible, but he's not. Now, the reason I've made mates with Mike, made friends with him, is because I know it helps me to deliver voiceovers. Now, that may sound strange, but having your microphone as your friend or even another microphone in another studio as a friend is a great asset. And the reason is you're talking to a friend. You're not talking at them. You're talking to them and they're listening all the time in a friendly way. They don't want to criticize you. They just want to listen and see what you've got to say. And that's exactly the same in voiceovers. Now, if you can make the microphone your friend, that is a great leap forward. And what it means is you are talking when you're delivering a script. You're not talking at someone. You're talking to them. You're just chatting away. Even if you're not sure about the words or you're not sure about the environment, the mic is there. It's always the one constant you have. So it's very important to do that. It's a psychological boost, really. And it will help you cope with microphone fright, which is a bit like stage fright that actors suffer from. So my top tip for today is make the microphone your friend and that will stop you having scary mic fright. See you soon. Thanks for watching and look after your voice.